everybody! So today's recipe is one that I've been wanting to do for a very long time on my channel because it's delicious and it's very classically British. Apparently it's been around since the Victorian times. I'm going to show you how to make a spotted dick. You're going to need an orange, a lemon, currants, milk, sugar, self-raising flour and if you don't have suet, so normally we'd use suet, but instead I'm using a bit of Crisco and some butter mixed together. So my currants have been soaking in some hot water for about 10 minutes. I'm going to leave those to one side and that helps them get really nice and juicy. So for the next part of the recipe, all it is, it's really simple, we're going to add all the ingredients into a big bowl and basically mix everything together. So first up my flour is going in and I will put all the quantities up on my website for you. And I'm going to mix the, the fats basically in with my fingertips. Obviously if you had to do it you could just stir it in, it would be easier. I'm going to zest in about a teaspoon's worth of the lemon and orange. Now for the sugar. Give this all a stir. So I'm just going to drain off the water from the currants. Currants going in. I'm going to stir these first. And then you just add the milk in. So you want to just stir this together, not hard, just lightly, till it basically forms a ball of dough. Next you need to get yourself two pieces of baking paper. So I've got two there just to make sure it's strong enough for the steaming um, process. And we're going to plop the doughy mixture along the baking paper. Some people do, obviously you can make this in a pudding basin as well. So if you had a bowl which was heat proof, then you could use that. But I'm doing mine as a big long, as like a longish log. And that actually takes less time to cook as well. So I'm just gonna mold it into a bit more of like a Swiss roll shape. So now I'm gonna start folding fold this up. And basically I'm gonna leave I'm not going to wrap this too tightly because you need to leave a bit of a gap of paper so that when it does start to rise it has room. So I'm just going to fold, do a fold and just leave it like that. And now I'm going to close both the ends. So now we're just going to tie the two ends kind of tightly together. So if you have some string or there are even these cool little like um, wire tie things you could use. So I might try this. Yeah. Whatever you got handy just to get that sealed. <laughs> this is now ready to place into the steamer. If you don't have a steamer at home, not to worry. Just get yourself a large saucepan. And um, I'm actually using like a cake tin to put in the bottom. And I'm gonna put water around just uh, not all the way so you don't want it to go above the cake tin you need like a good couple of inches on the bottom now i put the pan on to heat and placing the pudding make sure that top bit's folded placing that on top of the baking tin so it's not actually in the water it's just sitting above it and now i'm going to pop um some tin foil on top so it basically keeps all the steam and the heat in there so once it's tightly secured, then you can leave this on a very gentle simmer for about an hour until it's cooked all the way through. Spotted dick is done. It is, it's been it's steamed. I've left it to cool for a bit now. Oh, we're gonna take it out. There we go. And so once it is cooked, you can just take it out and put it on a, on a plate and then serve it straight up. Whoa, so there we have our pudding, our spotted dick. Now I'm going to take a slice, you can see it's really soft and spongy on the inside. Oh, delicious, yum. So this pudding is definitely good with some custard. And have this warm, yum. So I told you it was easy to make and now I get to have a try. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. This is like pure comfort. I can taste the zest in there and the currants. It is an amazing dessert. I hope you're all going to try this and then leave me your comments if you do. I love hearing from you. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check in again for Brit Week for another dessert. Bye!